Hi, this is LaDonna Briggs from Sweet Potato Pie Nursery, and I am working on a Bountiful Baby Kit, Alyssa, and I am painting her hair, so I'm going to do a little painting while I video. Um, I'm going to use a zero liner. Probably put a little more mineral spirits in my paint dish, and I'm using raw umber. So I'll do this whole head of hair with only raw umber. I'll paint darker in spots to make it darker. And where I want it to look lighter brown, I'll just do a little lighter with more mineral spirits. As you can see, I'm kind of adding a little more mineral or raw umber here and then I'm going to fan this out so it doesn't look as thick so I'll turn my head as I pull the paint outward been freshly baked so I'm okay to touch the side so I'm gonna kind of work on pulling this color out so I want it to look darker up here but then lighter as I get away from this I want there to be some little tiny hairs And this all works pretty good with this um, number zero liner. I'll go a little smaller when I go around the face. Okay, so I'm going to pull it and I'm going to tilt and we're going to look at both sides. So I have a few little hairs coming here and I want to kind of do the same here, but I think I'll switch brushes. This is a five zero brush and it's a longer script liner if you can see that it's got a little longer hairs on it so i can do a little more with it i'm gonna try to pick up a little more paint so this side i have some squiggles might add a few more with that. It's good for tiny little hairs around the face. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing. You can see those are not. So I've already painted quite a few little hairs around the front of the face with this script liner. It takes a while to build this middle part up, so I'm going to go back to my zero. And sometimes I'll even use a one. This is my zero. Because I want to add some thicker hair here. And this kind of gets it done quicker. And I'll come back and and darken this, but I'm just kind of putting more of a faded line, kind of a blurry line to begin with. I keep hitting my camera, I'm sorry. It's a little bit hard to follow if I keep hitting it. So there's a little starting to come, you can kind of tell. Here's my swirl here. And so I'm gonna work the swirl in. I'm gonna split these hairs. Then I can split again as I go up. 
this isn't one hair. You're trying to represent um, hairs that are kind of stuck together here. So that's why I'm using this bigger brush. So I want to go back and pick up a little more paint here. And I can kind of work from that paint and pull it forward. I don't have to touch everything. It doesn't have to always touch each other, each hair. But you can see I'm just kind of, I'm even crisscrossing some here, which is okay too. That's starting to build and look like hair. It takes quite a while, quite a bit of time to keep building pick up a little more paint here because I want that to look pretty dark here. Going to try to keep the darker parts in the middle of the head and then I'm going to fan out and be not quite as dark here on the sides. Still need a little bit of dark here. going to get a little darker as I go towards the face, or a little lighter, I mean. Alright, thank you for watching.